Welcome back to your Voice First podcast. Today we're going to be discussing Google's Voice Builder. This is an open source library so that way we can train custom voices to be able to replace the synthetic Alexa in Google Voice inside of our projects. So I have already gone and created the Google Cloud Platform project. To get started on that, you just go over to uh, cloud.google.com and set up your project. Enable billing, I already did that. Currently we're on the step of installing Docker. So, and it looks like we have just run sudo apt get update. So now I am boop, installing some more things, yes. And again, the whole goal of this is to have speech synthesis. We want to integrate more speech synthesis into the platforms we're building. I believe this is my processor. And then we're getting to installing Docker. We're getting there. Making progress. So we're installing Docker, and if you're not familiar with Docker, uh oh, what happened there? 404, the P's not found. But maybe we're good. The repository doesn't have a release file, can't be done securely, disabled by default. Um, we'll try it one more time, and if it still doesn't work, we're trying you one more time. Yeah, it's still giving me that not found issue. So we're just going to it. And we'll see if we're still good. Yeah, I'd, I'm fine to just install the latest version. I don't think I need a specific version. So now we are installing Docker. And while that's going, is there any Verify is correctly installed by running the Hello World image? Cool. Cool. So the next step will be running Hello World on Docker and seeing if it works. Make sure you're drinking water, everybody. We're all staying behind our computers for a really long time. Staying inside with COVID-19. All right, let's see if it worked. Okay, so it looks like we are... Hello from Docker. Our installation appears to be working correctly. So we have finished installing Docker. Let's continue moving with the Google Voice Builder. So now we want to go to Firebase and we want to import the project. So let's go over to Firebase. Firebase is a backend database as a service that's offered by Google. You know it's a Google product because it's firebase.google.com, just like mail.google.com or docs.google.com. Samir, one of our lead engineers, our top engineer actually, tried creating a project yesterday and I was a little impatient, so I want to do it myself. So I'm importing the existing project. Yeah, 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 definitely do that. Do that Blaze stuff. Yep, do it all. Google Analytics. And now we are creating the project. So once we have imported, we will install the gcloud CLI tool. I think I already have this, so I'm just going to check what the installation looks like.
Yeah, so I'm just gonna try G Cloud and Knit. Well, I'm not even gonna do G Cloud and Knit, I'm just gonna go G Cloud dash V. Okay, so we do already have G Cloud installed. Google Cloud SDK is already installed. Looks like updates are available for some of the components, so I will install those updates right now. Yeah, let's do it. So now it's gonna work on updating the Google Cloud resources, but because I already have those, I've definitely already installed Node.js, and I definitely already have the Firebase CLI tool. I'm gonna check both of those real quick as well, um, just to make sure we are up to date on those libraries. Got about nine minutes left, so we'll see how far I'm able to get. So this step should be done. Next, we're gonna test Node by running node-v to make sure that we have an updated version in node. Okay, so now we go node, ah, numlock, numlock, get off, node-v, and we are on 10-10.15.3. Now we'll check Firebase CLI by running Firebase-v, and okay, Firebase-version. What you talking about? Double dash version. Okay, so we have Firebase version 8.6.0, so we're good there. Enable the following GCP services. We need App Engine API. All right, so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go APIs and services. Because now what we want to do is we want to search App Engine and then it should pop up If I search here for App Engine, App Engine Admin API, that App Engine API, yeah, that, that sounds, sounds like what we want. Cool, so that is now enabled. Next up, we want Firebase Cloud Function. Where did we go? Okay. Back here, library. Search again, Firebase Cloud Function. Okay, I'm just gonna search Firebase, Cloud Messaging, Firebase Storage, In-App Purchases, Remote Config. Um, let's search Function. Firebase Cloud Function. I believe Cloud Functions API should be the same as the Firebase Cloud Function. I, I'm 90% I'm sure Firebase Cloud Functions are built on top of Google Cloud Function. And I don't see anything else, so we'll just go with Cloud Functions API. And then Genomics Pipeline API, interesting. All right, dude, you got seven minutes. Geno genomics pipeline. I don't know which one's genomics pipeline, so we'll do them both. We'll do the genomics API. And then we'll go back into the APIs and we'll search genomics again and do the longer name genomics. And now we'll do the life sciences API. All right, so now we've, oh, that's a, wow. If, I, if you read ahead, you can see use this URL to enable them all at once. So let's see if we, let's see if we can. And we want Google Voice Builder. So this should be an overall check. If, if you did miss any, like I may have, follow the link. <laughs> the link seems like we don't need any new credential setting. Set up your own custom data exporter. Don't care about that right now. Okay, so now we're about to clone the repository. 
while it's still enabling those APIs, I'm going to change directory into my projects. And now I'm going to CD into our voice AI repository. And from here, I'm going to clone, I'm gonna clone the Git repository. Uh-oh. Okay, so we are now changed into voice builder directory. Perfect. Let's see what else we gotta do. Let's see if we're done installing the APIs. It looks like we're still enabling these APIs. If you haven't logged in via G Cloud, um, I should already be logged in, but let's just check. Yep, all copacetic. We're authenticated, great. Firebase project is ready. Firebase login, no local host. I don't know what the no local host does. And we're already logged in as voice first tech, perfect. So open deploy.sh and edit the following. Um, all right, this one seems like it's gonna take a couple seconds. So let's go code.slash. And let's also figure out what's going on over here. Are we still enabling? Cool, APIs are enabled. We are all done there. So we're now opening up deploy.sh. Where is deploy.sh? Now we want to change project name. So let's go over here. And let's go to home, maybe. Project name is Google Voice Builder. And then the project ID. You got this. And now we need the GCP service account email. Use Compute Engine service account. You can find one by clicking on I am an admin service accounts. Okay, so we want to go to I am an admin service accounts and compute engine service account. App engine, okay, so here's the email that we want. Copy that. And we are not using data exporter service account. Create a GCP's bucket to store each job data, okay. So now we'll run shift insert, um, shift insert, setting up a job bucket, invalid bucket name in URL Google Voice Builder jobs. Um, I don't know where it found Google Voice Builder jobs project name, lowercase, jobs bucket is that. Um, okay, what's going on? Create GCS buckets for the voice builder. GCP's project name from prerequisite, project name. project settings. Um, let me just try using the same credential for both the name and the ID maybe. I don't, I don't I'm not sure what, what happened there. All right, we seem to be getting further when we use the project ID. Okay, so now it has completed that and it's now time for me to go. What else do we need to do? Deploy our cloud functions component.
and then it wanted to deploy our functions and we don't have something inside of our firebase.json firebase.json the runtime field is required but not found in firebase.json okay okay let's let's give that a shot let's try it one more time So now I copy this because it's not found and I go over to Google and we just search the error. And now we should see, let's just copy that, paste that and now let's try it again. All right, now it's deploying our functions. So that seems to have got us past our previous barrier. And next we want to deploy the UI component. And then we should be able to start creating our own custom. Uh oh, unknown error, what? Stop giving me these unknown things. <laughs> Give me some clarity, please. Preparing unknown HTTP error 403, unknown, <laughs> unknown error. That's really not, not helpful whatsoever. This will be the last try and then I'm going to try deploying. Did we even try deploying on job bucket change? I don't think we ever tried deploying on job bucket change. So I think we have now gotten further than we did before. I'm going to, I need to call my team. Team, I didn't forget about you, I was just busy. Morning, everyone. Um, all right, everybody, I will be back to finish up this live stream after stand ups. Thank